afraid of bugs. They really freak me out. It's pretty pathetic. One day, Emily texted me saying, Um, we have a problem. I just sighed and on the inside, I could just feel my soul crumbling because we had recently had an outbreak of ants and there were like 30 crawling around right by my bed and ugh. I just really was not ready to face this problem, but I answered anyways. And then she told me, there's a giant bug trapped in our window. I mean, it could have been worse. It could have been flying around in our room killing us, but it wasn't. It was sitting on the screen, and luckily Emily was able to close the window just in time. So naturally, even though we were protected by an entire layer of glass, I sprinted home. But not really. I was at work, and, and I had to wait. The screen in our window isn't completely connected to the frame, so there's a gap that bugs somehow find their way into. When I got back to the room, I saw this huge bug on our screen. It was big and black and sleek-bodied and dangerous and beautiful and deadly wasp. I named him Rolf because Emily likes to name anything and everything that is vaguely alive and even a lot of the time inanimate. We watched him attempt to escape, slowly crawling up the screen towards where the gap is, but his efforts were futile. He just wanted to get back to his wife, Brigida, and his two kids, Franz and Maria. They missed him. They needed the honey and the love that he could provide. I wanted him dead. I wanted him free. He just kept trying to escape, but nothing he did worked. Rolf wasn't very smart. Natural selection, hello. After about a day, he got really tired and angry. Sometimes he would just hang on the screen clinging to life, and other times, when we would get our faces near, he would fly up and bang against the window, as if to say, I hate you. He kept this up for a couple of days. And even though it was swelteringly hot and we would wake up in night sweats, we dared not open the window for fear of Rolf's rage! And then, one day we looked, and he wasn't there anymore. He was free. Free to live his life and provide for Brigida and Maria and poor little Franz. From time to time, I still look back on the days we shared. Even though they were few, they were majestical. Rolf, I miss you, dear friend. Adieu. Why do you always have to name everything? It all starts with the naming. You name something and you get too attached to it. It was just a wasp. You understand? A wasp. Just a wasp. Okay? Don't say that about Rolf. See you on the other side. And I'm missing you. I'm just missing you. That camera's weird looking. <laughs> True. I feel like I'm staring into the eye of Sauron. <laughs>